Hello everyone and welcome to the 36th episode of the Top 5 Weekly. Now in this series, each week we're going to look at the most popular workshop creations on Steam, whereas each one of the submissions we discover their features and finally test them out here in the world of Stormworx. Now if you're enjoying these videos, comment below and leave else else you'd like to see any of my future videos. While you're there, don't forget that like and subscribe button and make the little bell icon to notify you of my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So all said, let's get straight into it and get started with the first creation of this episode. And starting off with the first creation of the episode, we have the KX Wedge. This is done by a content creator called Kaitax. Now, pretty much doesn't really have any description on this on the workshop itself. Uh, as he says in the name, it says exactly as it looks. So pretty much taking it from there, it looks like a race car uh, of some sort or just a really nice looking car. So guessing that's what it is um looks like it's got some quite nice detailing on it looks like it's got a full engine in there also and a full interior so let's go spawn this and see how it works and actually how it drives here in the world of Stormworks. and spawning in the first creation of the episode you can see we have this really nice small beautiful compact car a whole bunch of like headlights and things hidden away behind windows and things uh, a bunch of paint blocks going along the side looks like uh we have looks like just regular wheels no suspension there along with that we also have the lights at the back um the exhaust really really good looking seems like what we have oh we have like a little bit of a trunk here that's pretty cool you can put like some cargo in there or maybe your friends on there up to you i guess uh what else do we have we have like a little bonnet here in the front okay so we do have suspension uh we have the lights we also have it doesn't look like an engine just looks like looks like just nothing really just like tanks and things uh so it'll be interesting to see if there is an engine in here um there must be because yeah look there's i'm selecting it oh there it is there's an engine there and there's an engine there okay so there are two engines in there okay nice uh what else do we have let's go oh that's a nice interior that is actually a really nice interior that's beautiful uh let's get in the seat here what else do we have nothing else really inside uh let's close the door off what do we have control wise we have key guessing that's all electric uh battery fuel temperature gear speed rps uh hot keys are a and d for turn signals okay we have ws is to change gears we'll go all the way up to four and we go in reverse okay uh we have ignition parking brake lights let's check the heart lights oh nice very nice Okay, the lights are working. Cool. Let's see if those on. Uh, we have a heater. I don't know where the heater is. Must be hidden somewhere. Let's turn the heater off. And we have the horn. <laughs> Not really a horn, but okay. Uh, I guess that works. So going from there, let's get this started. Actually, um, ignition. Okay, so the ignition's on. It's now working. We can get. I guess we just get the gear up. Okay, so gear up, and then we use our up and down, I guess. Yeah, there we go, we use up and down, and then left and right to turn, okay. So this is in gear one, so quite a high, a high RPS, and we are skidding all over the place. Very quick, actually, very, very, very quick. And let's go and put it into next gear. Okay, so a little bit more steady and stable now very nice next gear oh wow that's going really quick Ooh, let's slow down there a little bit okay seems like we can actually drive quite well let's go and get into fourth gear seems like it's going quite well fourth gear yeah fourth gear works really nice actually nice and stable just drifting oh this thing would make a great racing car absolutely great racing car we might be going a little bit quick there um but yeah really nice it doesn't skid it grips really well the suspension has done really well on this also uh but yeah that's pretty much about it for for this one guys uh so let's go ahead and move on to the next one and moving on to the next creation of the episode we have the big boy wing 8x4 this is a japanese style wing body truck done by a content creator called reptor pi now 
This is going to be suited for transporting long and heavy cargo, uh, protects its wide body. Along with that, has quite a few different features. It's got a realistic Japanese uh, truck design featuring side skirts, mirrors, and so on and so forth. Realistic interior, uh, we also have a fully operator wing body. There's automated 12 speed uh, transmission, which is really cool also. There's a hill start, there's a climb um, option there too. There's a whole bunch of different things going on here. Uh, so let's go and spawn this in and see how it works here in the world of Stormworks. And spawning in the next creation of the episode, you can see this truck looks absolutely gorgeous. I can't believe how amazing this thing looks um, and very realistic at the same time. Tons of paint blocks, absolutely all those are paint blocks. Uh, the way he's done that looks absolutely great. We have the main cab, which we'll check out in a couple minutes. Uh, we seem to have the actual folding rail, folding pieces over there. Okay, let's go and close that. Uh, we have some, looks like some tanks for fuel underneath there. We have, uh, wow, okay, so we have the whole wing part that goes and opens up. And then I guess you could do this too. Okay, and oh wow, look at that. That is absolutely awesome. I really like that. Uh, let's go and close that, close that, and let's go and close that off. That is really good looking. Uh, going into the back here, what do we have? Oh, we even have the little handles. Those are cool. Uh, those are very realistic. Okay, and going on, number plates, and then we have the back cargo area. We can't really get into it, I guess. Oh, I guess you can use the handles. Um, cool, let's close that, actually. I love the use of all these detailed pieces, and I guess on the same same goes on this side. Yeah, you can open and close it. Okay, so that is really... Oh, and he's used, he's used the actual... Oh, that got stuck. Uh, let's go and try and fix that. No, it's stuck again. Uh, let's try and open this part and then close this. No, it's still stuck. It's still stuck. There we go. Now it's closed. Uh, and he's even used. Look, he's even used the little pieces there as as like little um, mud flaps. Those are really cool. That's really nice. Uh, going around, we seem to have an electricity refilling and recharging station. A door to get in. And another door. Let's see if we can open this up. Uh, is there a button anywhere here to get in? Don't see one unless I'm blind. I wish I could. There we go. Okay. Oh, we've got a little buzzer noise. Okay. And let's go and close that. So, like a little alarm, set the doors open. Interior wise, not much going on here, but doesn't have to be. Um, some nice details too, still. So, we have parking brake, lock door, we have the gear shifter there, we have engine start, we have heater, we have light beam cycle. Okay. Do it again and there we go okay and i guess you can just cycle through that oh okay so you got one for gauges two for low beam and three for high beam okay let's get two uh shift down up hazard warning okay and we've got our hazard warning lights very nice let's turn those off uh we have left and right indicator Okay, uh, along with that is, let's turn my light off. Do we have an interior light? There we can do. Cool, let's get our engine started here. What gear do we need to be in? Let's go into, hmm, engine started, let's see. Okay, so we're in drive, okay. Is it, oh, it's automatic, I think. Let's go and drive, yep. drive I'm guessing that's automatic it's just going along very nicely whoa, whoa okay slow down okay we need to slow it down a bit there but yeah this thing looks oh this thing looks absolutely awesome let's go in that's neutral then we have shift up drive hmm interesting why that thing isn't working I don't know if that is meant to be working I'm sure I saw a screenshot with that being like the gear, the gear thing. You can see the different gears. Um, ah, there we go. I don't know what that did. Hmm. And let's shift down. Okay, we got reverse. Oh, the engine is revving high. 
but it's still working really well. Let's go and get it into. Let's go and get it shift up, put it into drive. But yeah, still, guys, absolutely great looking truck. I can't believe how beautiful this thing is. Um, I keep on going on about it, but it is a really, really, really good looking truck. Uh, probably one of the best, as I said, one of the best I think I have seen personally. Uh, but obviously, that's just my opinion. Uh, I can see this being really, really liked uh, over on the workshop. So let's go ahead and let's move on to the next creation of the episode. And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the IDFD 5031 Valhalla. This is done by a content creator called Sheepdog, quite well known on the workshop, been on a couple of episodes already. Now, this is meant to obviously be a fire boat, but it has a couple of different features with it. Medical bay, a bunk room, engine, uh, there's two uh, bow cannons, two roof cannons, there's two aft cannons, and there's also one bridge cannon. So there's a whole bunch of cannons in there for fire boat uses. Uh, along with that, a couple of different diesel engines, uh, generator, navigation, lighting, and all the different cool things inside there. Uh, so let's go ahead and spawn this in and see how it works here in the world of Stormworks. And spawning in the next one, this has got an automatic engine starter, I just realized. Um, but yeah, overall it looks really awesome. You can see guys, those are all paint blocks. Those are individual paint blocks that he's gone and used on the floor. Absolutely amazing. Now, starting at the back here, let's see, we have, looks like a winch. Uh, we have some winch controls, okay. Along with that is just some more detailing we have a way to get in it looks like okay uh, another door there moving along refueling area going onto the front deck seems like i'm stuck there okay uh nothing else here seems like two water cannons uh going along let's have a look on the other side if i can get there okay let's just jump over the things here okay uh we have another door to get inside just some more paint blocks and things okay so we'll come out and let's go inside let's see what we have so let's turn that off get some lights on uh, okay i think we need some electricity first so x there we go master power let's get all that on and let's get my lights on nope still doesn't look like i put the lights on Okay, or at least I didn't see them. Uh, what else do we have in here? It seems like an equipment room, a diving area, uh, going down. Seems like we have the engine room. Really nice looking little engine room. Uh, manual starts, manual start, just the two engines and some pipes and some gauges. Uh, emergency power we don't need. Let's go back up. What else do we have? So we have, looks like some crew quarters in here. Okay, very nice. Another door to get out. Uh, we have some more diving equipment, some temperature. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So you can actually control the temperature. Interesting. Uh, we have, looks like some diving stuff and then a way to get up and moving into the front section, a little medical room with a map screen and a LiDAR. Very nice, really nice. I like how he's done that. It's like computer little station there. Uh, let's go up and let's see what else we have upstairs. So it looks like we have the main bridge area. We'll come back to this in a couple of seconds. Let's go outside for now. So we have two water cannons here at the, uh, the back here on the aft side. Uh, we also then have another water cannon here and then the other two on there. Okay, uh, nothing else really on the outside. Let's go in the interior now. Seems like we have a few things. So don't know what this stuff is. Uh, generator. Okay, so that's the generator. Okay, cool. Uh, we have, looks like some cameras and things. We have, what's this? Oh, okay, so this is the controls for all the cannons. So, charge that. Okay, we should have a cannon on, if I'm correct. Which one am I controlling? Okay, I'm trolling that one at the front. What am I missing? Let's turn it off. Maybe I'm missing something for, so far. Uh, what else do we have? We have spotlight left and right. That's pretty cool. Spotlight is it on? Because then we know. Yeah, it is well. There you go. It's working. Perfect. I like that design. Um, floodlights. Well, let's see how that looks. Well, okay. Very bright. 
very very right let's turn those off uh we have zoom radar in and out okay nice uh engine sync to ws yes uh horn prolonged blast short blast and horn fog we have zoom radar gain kill switch start with engine prime starts kill switch port engine nice like that some more monitors and things we have emergency front emergency lights let's see what those look like oh that looks cool like that really nice really looks cool uh, let's turn that off that's pretty much about it for the controls uh, on hot seat oh, wait, hold on okay navigation running uh, restricted no no command anchor nice I like those lights uh, we have steerage, port engine thrust, or sync to starboard engine thrust, okay. Uh, fine maneuvers, toggle position moving, okay. Okay. Hmm, let's see. Seems like we're going. Okay. Seems all good. What is this? Zero and zero. Okay. Uh, let's go and kill that. Seems like we're going fine. Oh, okay. Hello. Okay, so now we're outside of prison moving. Let's go and toggle everything to WS. And now we are motoring. Wow, this thing is absolutely flying. Looks really nice and stable too. Turning really well. A little bit of water on the side there, but oh, absolutely stunning. All the controls there at the top. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Really, really nice. So yeah, really nice boat, guys. Uh, definitely go check it out. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one of the episode. And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the patrol vessel HMS Gillian. This is done by a consecrator called Mr. Newton. Now, this ship has got a couple different features on it. Um, this is meant to first off actually just be a post-war patrol vessel. Uh, with there, there's actually going to be the features, which is the ballast system, GPS, autopilot. There's accommodation apparently for six sailors, four officers. There's a gun, uh, there's LiDAR, there's all kinds of different things going on here. So let's go ahead, spawn this and see how it works here in the world. Of Stormworks. And spawning in the next boat, you can see it's gone and spawned on the far right hand side of our dock here. We are getting a little bit of lag, uh, but not much. But yeah, still going really well. So, little patrol boats. Uh, we've got the name writing at the back there. Uh, let's jump on here. It seems like we have guessing what's some storage area here at the back. Uh, we've got a refuel connector on each side. We have the winch. Okay, let's go and get into whatever this room is. So, hmm. what's in here? We seem to have, okay, no electricity, but it looks like a med room. Okay, that's fine. Let's go and close it off. Maybe we don't have power just yet. Uh, let's open up this door. What do we have in here? Seems like a little kitchen. Okay, very nice. Seems to have like a little crew cabin area there. Um, some type of monitor. I think we really need to find some electricity to actually see what's going to happen around here. Um, interesting to see that video receiver there. Uh, way to go down. Oh, this is getting a little tricky. So we need to definitely find a way to. It seems like crew cabin. Okay, get some lights on in here. Let's go and just keep our flashlight on for now. Looks like another crew cabin, and I'm guessing another crew cabin in here. No, it seems like some more storage heaters and things around the side. Okay, some more crew area there uh, going along. And what's in here? More crew cabins. Okay, so just a whole bunch of crew cabins. Uh, in other words, down here. Let's go and see what else we have. So all your friends can come on this boat. Uh, we have another door. Where does this go? Okay, um, let's close that off. What do we have in here? So we have looks like ballasts okay so that's the ballast system in there it's gonna open up the doors here and see how, where we get to 
Okay, so now we see it looks like we're in the engine room. Okay, very nice, very, very nice actually. Uh, let's see what we have here. Circuitry generator cuts, silence alarm, stop generator cuts in, and port generator cuts in. Nope, nope. Okay, let's leave that for now. Uh, there we go, there we got some electricity. See, finally. Let's see if now we can get things working. Uh, let's leave that off then. Uh, we have guess okay, so just an alarm there. Okay. Uh, we have emergency fuel. Okay, so it's a refuel while we're here. Uh, we have build. Okay. We have fuel valve, fuel valve, and we have going to unlock that power point two. Okay, starter. Didn't seem like it's doing anything. Okay, we'll turn that off. Uh, leave those all off for now, and let's see what else we have down here. Okay, so it seems like we have our storage area that we were looking at earlier on. Um, still no lights and no power, which is quite interesting, quite worrying at the same time. Uh, but maybe there's going to be some stuff up at the bridge that we can we can have a look. Okay, well, let's get the auxiliary generator. There we go. Now we have power. Good. Let's go and see what's in here. Oh, hello. Seems like we have the bilge air room. We have bilge. Guessing that it's probably going to the seafloor. No, it isn't. It's going into the bilge tanks. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. It's got a whole bilge area underneath the ship. Let's see what we have down there. Oh, that's really cool. I like how he's got this whole bilge system going along. And that was that. This is what was diagrammed. In his um, in his thing earlier, so that's really cool. Love the attention to detail on that. I'm just going to close that off and let's go and get back up. If we can. Okay, and let's get that closed. Okay, let's go and get back up now. Let's close the engine room. Okay, and let's go and open that door. This is the bilge pump room. Okay. Looks like it's getting filled. Okay, let's go and close that. You can see the ship there. Very nice. Close that off. Close so many doors. Okay, heater we can turn off. We've been down there. We came from there. Let's go up now and see what we have. So going up. Uh, it seems like we're okay. Yeah, we're straight in the bridge area. We'll come back to this in a couple minutes. Let's go have a look outside. What else we have? Guessing that's a way of controlling the ship there. Uh, some mags, we have some life rafts. That's quite nice. Can they move? No, it doesn't look like it. Looks like those are stuck. Oh, actually, there's a key switch there. Oh, no, you can release them. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, what else do we have? Let's see up top here. Just a way to get up there. What else? Let's see. We have the. Oh, okay. Huh. Oh, hello. Ooh. So that was a rocket. <laughs> oh no. What else do we have done here? It seems like a storage hatch we came from earlier on. Okay. I love that. That little rocket gave me a fright. Oh, that's nice. So this is a defense system there. It looks like a nice storage area to close it off. Uh, we have lower anchor. Okay, that's going to take a bit. Oh, not over oh, that. Let's keep it open. Uh, let's go into the bridge and see what we have in the bridge now. So we seem to have navigation lights and electric circuit breaker. Okay. Autopilot system. We have some helm throttle rudder. Okay. That's actually interesting. Uh, what else do we have? Let's get like we don't need and monitor but it doesn't seem to be maybe I have to get in here and then monitor comes on no um okay that's the horn don't know how to get that monitor on didn't see any controls for it anyway but yeah it looks pretty cool uh let's go and see if we can get it moving no we need to go get the engine started okay so back down to the engine room uh, I think it's in there Okay, down there. Okay, let's try and juggle these doors. Okay, and down there, down to the engines. Okay, 
Okay, let's get the engine on. There we go, get the other engine on. Cool, so that's good, that's running. Okay, now what's up, what's you worried about? Uh, for example, the blinking switch to main generators and shuttle forks. Okay, switch off orcs. There we go. Okay, cool. So we've got our main generator on, don't need the accelerator on. Uh, let's go up again. Let's go up, 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 up. And let's go out to controls here and let's see if we can get it going. Up down is clutch. Let's see. There we go, we should be going now. Yep, and then we're off. Nice, nice speed. Let's unlock the governor, see if that increases the speed more. Very nice. Really nice little patrol ship. Wobbles around a little bit, I think you can use the bilge pumps for that, but yeah, really cool. Really cool. I'm surprised on how quickly it turns. Those are the big rudders at the back there. It's turning it. Really nice. Love the little thing at the top there. Don't think there are any torpedoes. Uh, I didn't see any torpedoes. Uh, but yeah, really nice creation. Nice, nice and uh, nice and agile. Nice and quick. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the last one of the episode. And moving on to the last creation of the episode, we have the World War II Liberty Freighter Jamera O'Brien. Now that's a mouthful, um, but this is done by a content creator called uh, Person and Geo. Now this is meant to, as it says in the name, it's a freighter, it's a World War II freighter. Um, really really cool it's a us based one there's a whole bunch of different features on there there's a shuttle lifeboats uh life rafts there's engine room there's uh, some interior in there this thing is absolutely massive you will need a mission to spawn it so let's go and spawn this in and see how it runs in the world of stormix and spawning in the last creation of the episode you can see this thing is absolutely massive from correct it uses three pieces to get connected up there uh, it is taking about double triple the size of the main dock here uh, i don't even know where to get on to be honest uh, i think this is more of a case that we need to go to photo photo mode here to actually have a look and see what's what's on here now uh whew, looking at the back there it seems like we have some aa guns at the back uh with some water cannons on them we have a big storage area. We also have just some detailing of them, like hanging masts and things going on the sides there. That's really cool. Uh, tons of detail, more cargo area there. Got some AA guns on the side there. Seems like we also have some lifeboats. Those some, for some reason have not been connected. Uh, some more AA stuff there. Seems like we have possibly the main bridge area up there. More AA guns more storage and this thing is just absolutely massive guys uh, so let's go and jump on it actually if we can um, apparently it also has an engine room and uh, interior so this is going to be very interesting i'm surprised also the lag is not that bad guys uh, i thought it was going to be terrible uh, but it's not bad at all let's go and get in hopefully we won't get lost uh, so doors i don't think that goes to anywhere let's go and move along what we have there don't know what that does turn it off uh doesn't seem like there's anything else down here door to get out there door to go back to the passage is there any doors that actually have any opening and closing features on them doesn't look like it there's a way to get down so let's go down there i'm guessing an engine room okay oh my word a couple of stories in here so we've got the looks like the top of the engine here okay uh there's a ladder i don't know if i should go down the ladder oh let's go down the ladder i don't fall Ooh. okay uh oh hello wow so we've got an actual engine that's moving with it look at that little pistons moving around that's pretty cool very nice. I wonder if he's uh, possibly using an exploit to get the energy for free. Um, so you can see we have the actual shaft turning there. 
that's quite cool very nice let's try and get out of here so we have the main engine there what else do we have here backup main bar okay we have some generators we have the main engine what else wow this thing's huge look at that that's amazing that's awesome not turning there very nice go away i do not want a tow tanker i don't know what th that's what that is uh oh hello circuit breaker i don't know what that's meant to do so it looks like just engine controls uh go to the boiler activate both the ignition mode keys coal supply and the ignition repeat on the other boiler come back here and wait till the boiler is operative then activate the master ignition uh go to the triple expansion engine and increase the throttle and then go back to the boilers and turn off the ignition mode wow okay uh so we need to looks like prepare for ignition Prepare for ignition. What else did it say? Uh, okay. Okay. So it's like a boiler. Okay. And there's the firebox there. Okay. Let's go and do the other one. Okay, all those engines should be on now. Okay, then it says, come back here, obviously then activate the master ignition. Go to the triple expansion engine, increase the throttle. Okay, I'm guessing it's that one. Uh, didn't see any throttle anywhere. and try and find the throttle it's up here possibly didn't see any throttle there's the throttle okay so we need to get there which is how do you get there is there a ladder there's a ladder there okay okay Okay, the throttle is up. Okay, so we don't need to play with that. And then it says... Go back to the boilers and turn off the ignition mode. Okay, okay. Lovely attention to detail here. This is really cool. Okay, that's it. And we're up and running. So now we can, if I'm correct, go back up. Try and get out of here. Seems like there was a door there. Don't know where that goes anyway. Nope. Uh, how do we get out of here? That's the next question. Seems like we have to go up on that ladder there. Can I make it? No, I can't. Okay. So climb up this ladder. Then this one. Love this, how that engine's working. Really cool. Let's go up here and then I think we go around, go up this ladder and into this door. And there we are. That's really cool. Okay, let's see if we can get up into the bridge. So this is the exterior. I'm sure there's a ladder somewhere. Let's see if we can close that. Oh we're actually driving. Oh okay. I thought there would have been like a clutch or something. Uh Oh well, we have the lifeboats there. We have another way to get up. And what's this? this is the bridge? Looks like it is the bridge. Yes, piping away. Uh, let's close that door. What do we have down here? Radio room. Okay, let's close that off. Now I need to kind of move quick because I don't want to crash into something. Some Officers' quarters, map room, oh, very nice. Okay, so uh, looks like we have a way to get to the top here. What's in the top? AA guns. Oops. Let's see if I can get up here. Oh no! Oh, come on, let's go up, up. 
There we go. So we oh we just have a compass up here. Okay, fair enough. Let's go back down. Uh, what else? We have heaters, exterior lights. Okay, navigation lights, alarm, sinking. What's that? Huh? Simulate torpedo. Okay. Uh, wheelhouse lights. Okay, get rid of those lights. We have the wheelhouse. Let's go in the helm there. So we're just moving along, just like that. Nice and straightforward. You can see my camera barely meets the front of the ship there. We've got a rudder. This thing might take a while to turn though. Yeah. So increase the telegraph. I think we're at full. Decrease. Yeah, we can decrease it. This thing is hardly even turning. It is turning barely. Really cool though. I think what we need to do is we need to go and get some waves on and see how this thing handles handles some waves here in Stormworks. I'm guessing it's gonna be absolutely fine. To be honest, it's so huge. So big. Really, really cool. Absolutely gorgeous creation. Must have taken them a really long time to do. So really well done on that. So I think that's pretty much going to be about it for this episode. So I think we'll go ahead and end today's video over there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found some entertaining and informative as always. And we'll see you in the next one.